we are grooming the new generation of Americans to be fully embracing of diversity and inclusivity. And for the children and the people that support it are going to realize that this is going to be the grooming of the next generation. That's the whole goal is to make kids that aren't used to seeing something like me it's more comfortable to seeing it. No one's there to push an agenda on anyone. No one's there to um, persuade people or to recruit people. Who wants to be a drag queen when they grow up? You could be a drag queen superhero. Learn to love, learn to vogue, face your face. your children someone's gotta teach them not to hate we're coming for them we're coming for your children to warn you ladies and gentlemen if you've got young or impressionable children in your household bring them to the screen right now <laughs> and we witnessed parents taking their children as young as two inside to take part talking singing and reading we can both be grooms to an audience of preschoolers toddlers and their caregivers family programming love it yes we have just confirmed that a registered child sex offender has been reading to children at a houston public library as part of its drag queen story hour a media spokesperson for the library confirms one of those drag queens tatiana malanina is really alberto garza a child sex offender in 2008 he was convicted of assaulting an eight-year-old boy this is tatiana malanina my sister from queens of the week people seem to walk away having a good time yeah, start them young right mm -hmm. yeah, Start them young, right? Now, does anybody in this room know how to twerk? <laughs> <laughs>